Hey everybody, we got a cool one this week. It's springtime, which means it's turkey season. Back in the spring of 2019, as a lead up for my Upland Slam, I did the World Turkey Slam all in a single season, six different locations. Enjoy this video, they're all put together, action-packed hunts, let me know what you think. Perfect. Lord Osceola down. Thanks, sir. to turkeys down here is you try to locate them on the roost. So what the guys do is they do a ton of scouting. So last night they went out, located a few birds. This morning, it's about an hour and a half till it gets light. We've got about a 45 minute drive. Once we get there, we'll wait until that bird starts singing in the tree. Usually what they do the last 25 minutes or so before it gets light, they start singing. You use that noise as your beacon. Work through the jungle and try to get to where you can get with a shot before they get down off the roost. Once the turkeys get off the roost, it's so thick here, it's very rare to catch one on the ground. And they don't sing on the ground very often just because there's so many predators here. and it hit all of our, our foot noise. Except the problem was he was roosted on a wide open tree. Couldn't get farther. It was a long shot. I felt like it was good, but he just took off off the roost, but he only went a little ways. There it is. Isolated turkey from the jungle. Gorgeous. That's how turkey hunting's supposed to work. That's how it's supposed <laughs> to be done. Oh, wow. Oh, the perfect setup. Wet turkeys are always a little tough to tell how beautiful they are. But the giant beard on them, just gorgeous. Well, first morning here in Texas, we're gonna see if we can't get a Rio. There's a big canyon over here with some trees down in the bottom. He said there's a big pile of them roosted there, so we're going to try to get as close to there as we can, get set up in a blind, see if we can't call some over. After that, if we can't get some coming to us, then we'll get out and kind of move towards them and, and play the game a little bit. Set up looking this way. I could hear some on the roost over here. Gary popped back and there were three 
fast as the wine, but Texas Rio now. gobbler all day and he is still hung up at about 150 yards so before we take off we're gonna give one last ditch effort I think there's a way that we can go ninja mode and try to use the bank here as cover and get within you know, 75 80 yards and try calling if that doesn't work see if we can't sneak in and get a shot on him he's an absolutely gorgeous big bird and just hend up and when they're like this there isn't anything you can do Get the hooks. Well, we had this guy next to us for the last six hours, just gobbling his head off. But he was with a group of hens and two other gobblers and a couple of jakes. And no matter what I threw at him, I couldn't shake him away. So we got out of the blind. We tried calling basically all around him. We couldn't get him to leave this group and get within about 100 yards of us. So figured, what the heck, we'll give it a try. Snuck up a dry creek bed, got to about 50 yards and popped up. Then 12 yards of hen, just an absolute gorgeous Merriam. Hermie Hutton Goulds in the Sierra Madres. We got a quick charter flight from Hermosillo that'll put us almost right in the field. From there, we've just got a quick five minute drive from camp and then we'll be hunting from there. Elevation's around 4,500 feet. There's nowhere else in the, in the world that you can hunt turkeys like this up in the mountains. It's pretty awesome. exactly like it was supposed to. Sergio heard him just a little bit moving there. Just an absolute gorgeous Goulds in Sonora. And we walk up on him, had no idea, but he's got three beards. I don't even know what to say about that. 